Today we're talking about the Marine Corps AAV. This video shout out goes to Sergeant Moss, also known as Philip the Dental Plan Moss. He was a crew member in an AAV and he helped me write this. I've said it once and I'll say it again, the Marines are terrifying because when they show up, they show up in legitimate transformers. That's not the right kind. Sorry about stuff like this. Hmm, my electrician dad joke fell on its face. Shocking. Anyways, that's an Osprey. It's a helicopter that transforms into a plane in mid-flight. But today we're talking about these, the AAV. It stands for Amphibious Assault Vehicle. It's basically a boat tank. AAVs all started in World War II when they had Higgins boats back in the day. Remember those from Saving Private Ryan? They worked great in the European theater, but when it came time to fight in the Pacific with the Marines, a lot of the Japanese island had large coral reefs that the Higgins boats would get hung up on, so they wouldn't be able to make it to shore. So they designed the predecessor to the AAV. So how this works is a Navy ship has a bunch of AAVs on board, kind of like this. When they get two to five miles off the coastline, they just open the hatch door and the AAVs kind of yeet themselves overboard. Looks kind of like this. It's called a splash off. After the splash off, they motorboat up to the beach. It looks just like this. Then when they get to the beach, they just roll out and ta-da, you got a fucking tank. I mean, it's not technically a tank, but it is a 28-ton up-armored vehicle on tracks. It doesn't have a main cannon like a tank, but it does have an M250 cal and a Mark 19, which we establish as a machine gun that shoots fucking grenades, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a tank. It's also got a 903 cubic inch Cummins turbo diesel engine that allows it to go 45 miles an hour, or at least that's what the brochure says. According to Sergeant Moss, he's personally had him up over 50, but... And I quote, it felt like my kidneys were about to get rattled out of my asshole. End quote. Some military grade shit. Now, the main purpose of the AAV is to... Purpose, not porpoise. God damn it, hold on. The main purpose of this vehicle is to transport troops. You have a four-man crew to operate it, and then it can carry an additional 21 grunts that are fully loaded for combat. This crew is like the J.G. Wentworth of grunts. The J.G. Gruntsworth, if you will. You know, call J.G. Gruntsworth 877 grunts now. Okay, here's the point of this that I'm trying to get through to you. They were mad that we used a shotgun because it shot a bunch of ball bearings everywhere. The Navy is going to pull up in a giant boat and shoot a fucking tank of armored grunts at you. And I'm going to tell you right now, it scared the holy hell out of the bad guys in the Pacific in World War II. Because they were expecting Higgins boats to get hung up on the coral reefs. But what they got instead was the LTV, which is a predecessor to the AAV, also known as the Amphibian Tractor. During the Battle of Tarawa, the coral reefs I mentioned earlier were a particularly hard obstacle. Thought to be almost impenetrable by most. But the Marine Corps and penetration go together like communism and... Not food. So needless to say, the Marines hopped in their salamander tractors and made it over the reefs. The only surviving enemy officer, Kiyoshi Ota, recalled it as this. We could see the American landing crafts coming towards us like dozens of spiders gliding over the water. When one of my men exclaimed, the gods of death have come. In conclusion, if you ever see J.G. Gruntsworth coming at you in his salamander tractor, you should probably run because you're about to get hit with a gruntmentation grenade. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My merch and other links are available here or in the video description. Thanks for your service. Quack bang out.